So we begin inside the box with Madara, a rather strange show. I think the it was actually it wasn't bad. My only real complaint about it is that while it had a bunch of neat ideas and did a really good job of defying some expectations I had, especially some direct predictions I made that it started playing straight and then it kind of um, didn't do well. Um, unfortunately, a lot of it kind of felt going from place to place ish as in like things just happened kind of randomly as opposed to being a sort of adventure that people went on and i guess this is mostly a complaint because you know it's an early 90s anime and maybe i kind of expected something out of the 90s feel that it, i thought it set up well and didn't quite um, perform on but eh, i'll talk about that more in more detail in anime analysis otherwise it's very interesting how it um you know, how this guy, he looks like, um, Tetsuo. Except for the red mark on his head, of course. And a lot of the music on this, well, the music on the menus at least sounded like something out of Inuyasha. They were probably just going for, for the same, um, feel. But it doesn't help that the bad guy's name is Miroku, which I believe was also the bad guy in Inuyasha. But, eh. It was. It's kind of amusing since Inuyasha came later, but I I digress. And the next we've got Shuffle, and yeah, the volumes, the backs of them are on the side like that. See on the inside, there would be a poster here, except that I took those out and hung those up on the wall in my old place. So I kind of kept that tradition up here and put them back up wouldn't want to figure out which ones went with which, of course. Because uh, at this point, I probably wouldn't be able to tell. They've got some nice, complicated backings to them. Makes them look nice. There's no rush here, because these were the only two series I was directly asked to show. Maybe somebody else asked for something else and I missed. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of these either. Actually, we got a. It's going with a theme of um. One of each of the main characters, the harem characters, I suppose. Hmm. And discs. Oh, okay, so this one kind of breaks from that norm, because I don't remember who the hell she is. I guess that makes sense, since the these five characters were essentially the main. Hmm. And then uh, the final character, of course. Oh, as for my opinions on the series, well, apparently I never took these inserts out of here. And I don't... A part of me doesn't want to take them out. But my opinion on the series, it was okay. Um, my real issues are that it drew me in at the beginning as kind of being more a, potential, a somewhat more different harem anime, slightly more different, but it turned out to be more of the same old, same old. So there was a little element of... Um, disappointment there, and then uh, I really liked a couple of the twists. Those were good, and then um, I really liked how it was shaping up to end until it character assassinated the character I cared about. But um, so I guess you could say that for me it was a pretty average series, but a lot of that was expectations and disappointments on my part. So you'd say that if uh, you went into it a little bit op more open-minded about those things, or not caring as much about those, it'd probably be a pretty good series. Oh well, that's uh, inside the box, nice and quick.